Hey everyone, this is Shivani Patel with Go Engineer. I'm going to show you how to use the Configuration Publisher with a part that already has configuration set up. Now what the Configuration Publisher can do is provide you with an easier to navigate menu for picking specific configurations at the assembly level. Now the part we're looking at first already has a few configurations set up. There are various cuts that are suppressed and unsuppressed. I can see these differences as I toggle through here. I've also already created a configuration table so that I can quickly create an example uh, configuration here with a dimension change. And this is so we have different types of properties as I'm looking through my configuration publisher. Now this dimension example configuration has a smaller main hole diameter than the rest of the configurations. Now as a baseline, I'll quickly insert this part into an assembly file. Now in 2014, I can easily change the configuration of a part by using the drop-down shortcut that appears after clicking the component. Not bad at all. Now let's see how to set up a custom drop-down table using the Configuration Publisher. First, I'll need to right-click the top-level part within the Configuration Property Manager and navigate to Configuration Publisher. So this is going to prompt me to create a design table and I'm just going to let it auto create it based off of the configuration stuff I already have. Now we're looking at the configuration publisher. In this left column I've got a box with all the different properties that were suppressed or changed in order to create the configurations. As I drag a dimension type into the white box in the center, I begin creating my custom drop down. And the third column on the right hand side lets me label this as the main hole diameter. Now the second type of feature I can choose is the checkbox type. Now these are created from features that were suppressed or unsuppressed. If the box is checked, then the feature will be unsuppressed. Now this third feature I'm doing is the mirror of the vertical slots, and it can only exist if the vertical slots are already created. So it is dependent on whether the vertical slots have already been checked. Now this visibility area lets me specify dependence. So let's set it to visible only if the vertical slots have been turned on. Now as I go ahead and finish this up, I just want to point out uh, this Upload to 3D Content Central option here at the bottom. Uh, this is a SOLIDWORKS sponsored website where users can upload their models for others to view and download. And it's a great resource for common parts. Now we've gone ahead and finished with the configuration publisher. So I'm going to go back into my assembly and see the fruits of our labor. As I'm inserting another configuration, I see my custom drop down that I just created. I can choose between the two hole sizes or activate different configurations to the checkboxes. Now, this has been Shivani with Go Engineer. I hope this has helped you see how to use the configuration publisher to help you insert various configurations into an assembly. Mm -hmm.